Hi, Jacob. Thanks for your question. Um, if we want to show that negative 1 is a double root of this polynomial here, um, that's the same as showing that it's a root, but we just have to do it twice in a row. So let's go ahead and start by doing our synthetic division. We are going to divide the factor x plus 1 out of the original polynomial. And note when I set this up, um, I had to put a placeholder for x to the third because there's no x to the third in here, so there's a 0 here instead. All right, we're going to drop down this 1, multiply, product goes up here, and we are going to add these together. Multiply, product goes up here, add, and it looks like we get 0 for our remainder, which does indeed confirm um, that x plus 1 is a single root of the polynomial, and the polynomial factors into x plus 1. We're going to drop the degree of x down 1 from the original, so it'll be x to the third minus x squared plus 3x plus 5. Okay, now let's set up another synthetic division the pro another synthetic division problem where we're going to divide um, x plus 1 out of this polynomial here. So over here we have negative 1. We have 1x to the third minus 1x squared plus 3x plus 5. We're going to drop down 1, multiply, and we get negative 2. We'll multiply to get 2. We get 5. We multiply. We get negative 5 and 0 again. So it looks like x plus 1 is indeed a double root, and this polynomial factors into x plus 1 squared times, we're going to drop the degree of x, the leading degree of x, down 1 from the original. So we have x squared minus 2x plus 5. And that's your final answer for this problem here. Uh, thanks again for your question, Jacob, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.